What's up? Wayne Brown here with Artifacts.net and once again we are inside of Delphi XE2 and what we're going to be doing in this one is this is going to be the part 2 of our larger project. What we're going to do here is that we're going to add in, let's say that we've got several lines here. What we're going to do is that we're going to make it so that we can add in a line or text to the beginning of each area and also to the ending of each line. So let's say that we have one, two, three, four, five, then we can go in here and add Q to the beginning of it. So it'll be Q1, Q2, Q3, or we can go in and add it to the end for one, Q2, Q3, Q. So let's go ahead and jump into that one. So we're gonna go ahead and get us a button. We're gonna place our button here. We're gonna copy and paste identical buttons. And we're going to give the caption of button 3 is, um, let me see, beginning. And then this one is going to be ending. So let's go ahead and do the beginning. And each one of these is going to do this. So we're just going to go ahead and copy. Well, actually, we're just going to copy this to make it a lot easier for us. We're going to change to a Y. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is that we're going to type in um, memo1.lines Y colon equals replace edit. Hey, I didn't type that in right. Replace edit dot text plus, okay, now we type in memo one dot lines y and then we type in um, memo one dot select oops dot select all and then memo one dot copy to clipboard okay so basically what we're going to do is that First, we're going to remove all blank lines. Then we're going to look at our memo. We're going to count everything in our memo. Then we're going to take everything that we've counted and we're going to replace it with that text at the beginning of each line. And so since we're going to be doing this duplicated, we're just going to copy all of this. We're going to copy it or right click and copy. And then we're going to come back in F12 to our ending and then we're going to paste that here and let's give well we can leave that as y we're going to come here we're going to paste and place so this is going to put it at the end of the line this one is going to put it at the beginning of the line so then let's go ahead and run it and then Let's come into Excel and grab a hold of our line here. Let's go ahead and remove that. Copy the memo. And we want to add, let's just say, a Q to the beginning and to the end. So, or you can, uh, let's just say, uh, see it automatically copies it to the clipboard. So let's come back over here. Let's go ahead and grab a hold of this again. And then let's paste it here. Oh, let's select every uh, paste it. Get it there. Okay, let's say that we want to add. I've seen a lot of database work like this where you have to add in something like this to the beginning and the end. And so this is how you would do it. So anyway, that is part two of our larger project. Once again, this is Wayne Brown with Darkfix.net. Y'all have a rocking week. Bye-bye.